Hey everybody, how's it going? Bully Scholarship We here, and welcome back for more Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Last time we, uh, finished up, uh, the Winter Tundra homeworld, and we, uh, returned to Autumn Plains, but, um, cleared up all of that stuff, and now we're just gonna finish up the last few levels of Winter Tundra, and then we can finally confront Ripto, and the game will be over. So here's sort of a futuristic robot happy place. I like the music here. Yeah, there's some violent pigs here. Literally. Suicidal pigs. Oop, just waiting for the bus. <laughs> yeah, sorry if I sound kind of out of it, because I just got home from work and my legs are sore and I'm just worn out, but that's alright. Just gonna relax, play some Spyro, and after some Spyro, we're gonna play some Dragon Quest, and then we're gonna fall asleep. Woo! This insurrection from the farms has got quite out of hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. Okay. Yep. Um, I guess this level and uh, another level here called Robotica Farms are sort of connected because appears that some of the animals from the farm have gone a little bit crazy, if you know what I'm saying. And let's With talk. all the budget cuts, these elevators need serious work. See, this one here is stuck. I expect it would start working if you could just give it a good whack, though. Yeah. We're just gonna head bash it. Woo! That would hurt if you were Spyro and smashing your head and horns onto a hard metal elevator. Can't say that'd be too comfortable. Ah, suicidal pigs! <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. But yeah, they really took this idea pretty far after this game, because, uh... Well, there's a lot of, like, laser guns, first of all, for that matter, in, uh, Spyro 3. Oh, one of the playable characters actually has one that has that same sound effect. But also along with that, um, on all of the, uh, secret hunter missions and the flight levels, like in this one, it's always like aliens and UFOs and, and, uh, cow, whatever the heck you call these guys, space cowboy cows, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, but those guys are in, like, every secret hunter level, so... They really took the idea pretty far, but that's okay. That's what makes it interesting. Anyway, let's see. Let's continue on here. Look out for suicidal pigs. Uh, you can flame them if you want. But oh, cool! I got a double there. Uh, let's see. We'll go up there in a second. <laughs> oh, this is great. But yeah, today at work, it, it was pretty good throughout the day. It was pretty chill there. Um, we got all everything done. I, I was able to do garbage and get all the st store cleaned up at a, in a reasonable amount of time after we close. I mean, normally if it's a really busy day, we don't get out. Uh, As you can see, a vicious ox has taken over our armory. We thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. Yeah, guess not. The ox <laughs> is very tough. I advise using the bombs against it, and it'll probably take several bombs at that. Okay, let's throw bombs at an ox, because how dare it come into our domain. Yeah! Yeah, yeah um, normally if it's a super busy day, we can probably get out of there at 10.30 or something. Uh, depending on, you know, how many people we have and which people we have. Some Ow! This one's annoying. Oh, I should just do that. Oh, dang it. I thought that'd work every time. That'd be hilarious. Wow, I've never done that before as a kid. That's actually kind of cool. Oh! One more time. Yeah! That's cool. I've never tried that. Excellent work, dragon. <laughs> we can now defend our city properly. <clears throat> Take this visually pleasing reward. <laughs> Well, thank you, good robot technician businessman. His eyes kind of glitching up. Oh, well. He has like a mega underbite. Alright. <laughs> I love those, like, walking eggs. <laughs> are the things that cause butterflies here. Out of all the things, in like a futuristic thing. Oh, it's the walking eggs. It's 
like a junior trooper from Paper Mario. Like, what the heck? Okay. So yeah, um, work was pretty good. Except at the end, after we had shut down, I usually watch the door because I'm like the assistant head cashier, so I'll like help my buddy out. He's the head cashier, and him and I usually work together, make sure everything gets taken care of. Because um, it's kind of hard for one guy to do it, so him and I are like the two heads going together at stuff like that. But um, he'll usually have me watch the door after we shut down, and I'll let people out of the side door because we <clears throat> lock out or we lock up, excuse me, all of the uh, automatic doors because otherwise people could come in as well. So I usually just let people out of one of the side doors, and uh, but afterwards, after uh, most of the employees had left, I was letting couple ladies out who work in the front end with us and one of them's like dropping f-bombs and like freaking out like oh my gosh they freaking replaced that with other stuff made me stay to pick up the coupons from the registers like someone else could do it and i'm just like sitting there like ah. like that right there is the definition well of one of the many things that annoys me that people do it's like people that make a big deal out of everything pretty much drama kings and queens because guys do it too um absolutely we are not exempt from that but people that do that it's like dude do you have to make a big freaking deal out of everything like people oh, oh whoops that was bad <laughs> it'll come back down there we go yeah it's like uh, like you have to like freak out about every little thing like heck oh you can only go so far weird interesting um it reminds me of stone hill it's so much like it that's funny um but yeah it's like oh good lord ah spyro i heard you were coming thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup please take this item which living creatures seem to like <laughs> yes us living dragons and other mythical creatures enjoy our orbs good stuff good stuff it's a first for Avalar, a combination power-up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep in their spaceships must be stopped. Yep. AKA, that's pretty much what's in every single... Those don't look like sheep at all, they're just like purple blobs. Anyway, um... Yay! Yeah, it's pretty much every hunter mission. Um, we're gonna kill these guys and then we'll go around and get all the treasure here. And then we are gonna have to go back and I blow up another case like that because uh, there's one of them in that room that we weren't able to get it. At least this is the way I always do to get it. Uh, I don't know, maybe there's another way to get them, I'm not sure. But this is the way I always got But anyway, like, like I was saying, crap, I gotta find an egg thing. There's one. Um, it's like, uh, do you need to make a big deal of everything? Like, can't you just do what you're asked? I mean, it's not like they're like, hey, go collect the rebates, you idiot, or anything. It's like, hey, can you go collect the coupons for me? I'd appreciate it. It's like, you don't have to freak out and drop a bunch of F-bombs. Like, Excellent good work. Lord. <laughs> you knocked those sheep right out of the sky. This orb yeah. is just proof of your skill. Well, thank you. I appreciate another shiny thing that us living creatures desire. I think there might be another round of them. I knew it. Those first sheep sent out a distress call. The next wave of saucers is incoming. Yep. But yeah, so. So, today in my rant and commentary, I thought I'd talk about some of the things that people do that irritate me. Um, now, first of all, before I start off with this, I am not exempt of this either. I'm, I'm sure I do all of these things at some point or another, but... Nonetheless, it does bug me when other people do stuff like this. So, I was thinking about some of these after, uh, on my way home from work. I was like, hmm, what's some stuff I could talk about? Because I know I want to talk about this event after work. But, uh, let's kill this egg. Let's see. But yeah, it's like... <sighs> so, definitely one of them is drama queens and kings. People that everything's a big deal. You gotta freak out about everything. Nothing can be nice mellow, flying, you know. Airman. You've proven the genius of my double power-up invention. Here, keep this to commemorate your victory. Oh, well, thank you. So, yeah, that's definitely one of them. <laughs> um, another big one is when people don't 
shut up <laughs> when they are supposed to. There's a time to talk. In my opinion, there's a time to talk and there's a time to listen. There's a reason why we have two ears and only one mouth. Um, like during a meeting or in class or whatever, uh, it can, you can be adults and still have to deal with people that do this because it can be during a meeting or or whatever. You're listening to a speaker. Who knows what, but any situation, but like, people that don't shut up and show the person who's talking respect. It's like, guys, would, would, would it kill you to listen, or, or are we boring you, or it's like, good my, my goodness. <laughs> um, like, at yeah, work meetings, you get a lot of clowns that just don't shut up. It's like, guys, let them talk about stuff, and then we won't be stuck here all night, you know, stuff like that. And the same in classrooms, it's like, guys, uh, you complain about failing or sucking on the test, but you don't pay attention, and you just talk and distract others and bug people, like, you know, that's just, like I said, there's a reason we have two ears and one mouth. Oh, crap. And yeah. Um, so that's another really big one. And along with that, people just do, like, an annoying noises and stuff like that. Oh, one of them is when people slurp their drinks and stuff. That drives me insane. It's like, oh my gosh. Do you have to freaking slurp it? Can you just drink it? That always has bugged me. As a kid, as a young adult, as a whatever. It's like, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> uh, but that's just how I roll. I, I don't care for the slurping sound effect. It just has always bugged me. Let's see, I, I think I got all the treasure now, except for that one in that one area, which we'll worry about in just a sec. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go do that. Let's get this, and then what we're gonna do here is take the elevator down, and then we're gonna fly back to that big main room that we were in. I think we can just fly up here, yeah. Uh, let's see. Here we go. And then we can snipe that. And hopefully that will be the correct amount. And yay! We did it. Alright. Cool. Alright, that definitely was not like 20... Whoops. That was not a 20 minute episode. <laughs> so I think we'll do the speedway as well. Or we could do robotic farms. Hmm. I like the music. Oh, slapped. Alright. 400 treasure. I can't remember what the total amount of treasure you actually get in this game. Well, I mean, there's a total amount and then there's a real total amount, but we'll, wor we'll worry about that later, I guess. Uh, let's see. Which one do we want to do? Want to do another level or should we do the flight? Hmm. Well, let's let's do the flight. Cause I have a, unless if I really suck on the challenge, I should be able to do this moderately quickly. <laughs> so it won't be like a half hour episode, but like a good 20, 25 minute one. That's not too bad. But so yep, we're gonna do the final one, Canyon Speedway. This should be fun. Except for Hunter's Challenge. I hate Hunter's Challenge here. I think everyone does. Alright. Die, goats. You shouldn't be... You don't belong here. Kind of weird. It's like a big lava like can. It's like the Grand Canyon with lava in it. Die, bear. You shouldn't be tricycling up in here. Alright. Oh, jeez. Yeah, these are a lot easier than the original Spiral. At least they're, in my opinion, they're not quite a bit more linear. They're not so uh, random and spread out. Wow, those are really big bears and big three-wheelers. Okay, there's that. And... Okay, and then we're a little bit ahead of schedule here, but that kicks out where you have to assault these birds that are flying in our airspace. Die, birds. Die. Oh, crap. But yeah, recently, ouch, now that I've finally uh, acquired some of the strategy guides, uh, recently I've been ordering a lot of, a lot of Dragon Quest stuff, actually. But, um, I, uh, crap. I, oh, jeez, if I, 
wait. Hang on. Crap, where is he? Where is he? Ah! Okay, okay. Ooh! I wasn't paying attention there. But, um, now I, uh... Okay, yes. Uh, retry. But now that I uh, got some of the guy bucks, I'm gonna start playing through some of them. Um, I just ordered the fourth game because I've pretty much given up on trying to find Dragon Quest 4. That game is... I don't know why. I don't know if that they didn't make as many, but they made plenty of Dragon Quest 4 and... or, uh, Dragon Quest uh, 5 and 6 and 9 for the DS, but... Uh, Dragon Quest 4 for the DS, for some reason, has been just a real pain in the butt. Um, I do have the NES version, but I really wanted to get the updated uh, G uh, DS version, just because easy to play on the go, I can play in college. That That's really one of the ideas here. But um, So yeah, I, I just said screw it and right, I ordered one. Spyro. Are you ready to try out my plane? I just oh, fixed boy. it, and I'm pretty sure it won't crash now. <laughs> I'm worried. Okay, Spyro, here's what you've got to do. I've got the plane on remote control, so all you have to do is hit the targets with your machine gun. Press circle to fire right. the gun, and use the D-pad or analog stick to aim. You got it, dude. I mean, I think it homes in on the target, so it was more as a kid it was pretty bad. Because here they sort of just go right at him, but still, freaking hated this one as a kid. And there's just a few of them that I remember were just a real pain in the butt to get. And as long with that, the shooting controls are kind of inverted, so it's kind of weird. Uh, here's a... Oh, never mind. I thought there was like a blimp that flew by in one part, but maybe not. Maybe not for a little bit. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it does sort of home in, so it's actually pretty easy. I was probably just going crazy with it as a kid. But that's alright. Okay. Got that. Oh, jeez. You could see the bullet like curve there. Oh, crap. No, no, no. Dang it. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> Oh, I thought I could clutch it with my first try. Oh, damn. That's alright. We got it now. Yeah, you have to get used to these controls. These are really weird. Like, actually moving it up moves it up. I'm used to the more inverted style. and At least when it comes to, like, sh you know, like rail shooting and stuff like this. But I don't play that many rail shooting games in general, I suppose. Um, I'm not much of a shooter person anymore. I'm more of a, uh nerdy RPG person. But anyway, yeah. I uh, finally ordered Dragon Quest 4 and I'm really excited to play it because I, I really like the way the DS remakes look. Like, uh, just, I don't know. The the graphics look all the same on all three of them. It's really consistent. The menu systems look really awesome. The music is great. Um, I, I just like the way that, I like what they've done with Dragon Quest. How they've localized it and stuff. Oh, crap. No! Oh wait, no, you have a second chance with that one. That's right. No, dang <laughs> Crap. Freaking. Yeah. Ah, jeez. <laughs> I hate these controls so much. Oh, man. But anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, Dragon Quest uh, definitely is cool. And uh, I just started playing through six right now, and uh, it's really fun. Um, it's pretty funny, actually. And so is the guidebook, surprisingly. Like, um, whenever I play through an RPG, I like to have the guidebook just so I don't miss side quests. and So I can figure stuff out and not, you know, constantly die. And so I can find hidden items that I wouldn't have even thought to look for. I don't know, I like strategy guides. And they're just fun to collect and read through if you're bored or whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of sad that... I consider that reading material, but it it is actually really fun to look at all the artwork and stuff. But yeah, this this guy book is freaking hilarious. Oh, please to oh good lord. Oh, cool. I I never knew that. Oh yeah, all right, that was a cool. Hey, shot. you nailed all of the targets. 
It must be because you had such a good pilot. Well, yeah. I, I didn't realize they gave you those second chances. As a kid, I would, I was like, no, I missed that one. I can't get it anymore. But I guess not. I don't remember that. But that's a nice surprise. Put it that way. But yeah, um, it's been fun. <laughs> but Dragon Quest, it, the guidebook. I don't know why, but it, like it encourages you to be a troll. Like this is near the beginning of the game, so this isn't really a spoiler. But you like go and try to get this tiara for some ser or for like this uh, festival thing from a tiara maker. Or a, yeah, I guess it's a tiara. Um, and, but he left town to go find supplies, but then when you go find him east, uh, to the west of town, he's like hanging off of a ledge over a cliff, and he's like, hey, grab my hand, and you can say no, and he'll like start freaking out, and the guy book specifically says, for a fun conversation, constantly answer no. <laughs> it's like, wow, they were really into the trolling arts when they did that. But anyway, I'm rambling on, um... Next time, guys, we're going to be doing Robotica Farms, and then we'll just have two more levels after that, and then we can confront Ripto, and then there'll just be some bonus episodes, which I'm, I was just thinking about today and thinking about how I'm going to do those, but it shouldn't be too tough. But yeah, so next time, guys, we'll do Robotica Farms, and then um, probably Cloud Temples, and then probably one of my favorite levels in this game, Mystic Marsh. I always like that one. Uh, the music's good, and there's there's kind of a fun uh, orb mission, that's the name of it. Orb quest, orb challenge thing. I call them orb challenges, I guess. But anyway, guys, this has been Bully Scholarship. We, I thank you all for watching very much. And until next time, guys, remember to keep gaming, and peace out. We'll see you later.